this expedition I am going to explore the biodiversity and the vegetation of the ecotone of Kumrat Valley and on my back side you see the Kumrat River, Panchkoda River and I am taking this a beautiful trunk of the Abbey Spindro and Pinus Velishana and on the other side the slopey side you see the characteristic citrus trees of this valley. Now it is our second expedition to the center of the Kumrat Valley where we are going to explore the plant diversity which is linked to this beautiful valley. Very fantastic flower that is Geranium Valley Shiai. Geranium Valley Shiai which belongs to family Geraniaceae. This is a um, important species that is medicinally very important. The rhizomes of these plants are medicinally used for skin disorders and digestive disorders. This is the yellowish flowers, herbaceous plant that is called as Nisho chrysanthemides, which is the plant of family Astraceae. Sinesho is one of the important and the largest genus of the family Astraceae, which contain about 3,000 species in a single genus. Whitish flowers with the trifoliate leaves, here you see that when the leaves are divided, into three lobes that is called as trifoliate leaves and this is the trifolium rapans that belong to family Leguminaceae. You see it's another important species which belong to family PSE or Umbiliferi with a characteristic compound umbel that is Pampinella cuminata which belong to family Apiaceae with a characteristic simple flower. This is the only species in family Apiaceae where the leaves are simple otherwise the leaves are divided due to the leaflets. Here you see the beautiful river uh, of Kumrat Valley and my student Amir Soel is busy for the collection of herbaceous flora of a dried and moist temperate of ecotone of Kumrat Valley. Here you see the jeep is also looking for the uh, trunk of the Pinus Velishana where it is cut by some human being. So the major threats to the biodiversity is the cutting, ironic cutting of these characteristic trees. So this is a, another species on the bank of the river Kumrat, that is a Circium falconari, that belongs to family Astraceae. Here you see the bristling of the mature fruit bodies of fungi or mushroom. These pores spread in the air, sometimes they are allergic to the people, but the mechanism for spreading, for growth, for distribution and ecological amplitude of the uh, mushrooms and the fungi. So this is a very unique natural view that we capture during this expedition to explore the biodiversity of the Kumrat Valley, which is a ecotone of dry temperate and the wet temperate vegetation. This is a beautiful and full blooming of herbaceous flora in a pine forest of Kumrat Valley. These are the cones and this is the Artica dioca which belongs to family Articaceae. It is a card as a stinging needle. Here you see the butterfly visit. This is a Rumex nepalensis which belongs to family Polygonaceae. When there is a rotation by stinging needle, that is Artica dioca, this is the natural therapy to relieve the irritation on the skin. Sempucas vitii or Sempucas nigra, Sempucasi family. Here you see the uh, full fruitings of Sempucas species, that is Sempucas nigra, might be Sempucas nigra or Sempucas vitii. Here you see the LEB visit the yellowish flowers of Sinesho. So this is the bee flora and the honey bee collect the nectar and pollen for the production of the wild honey. This is the wild rose that is Rosa microphylla. That is one of the characteristic plants that belong to family Rosaceae. Here you see the lichens that are a strong association with the bark of uh, citrus tree, so these are known as folios lichen. Folios lichens are those lichens 
which have a strong symbiotic association with the trees or the bark of the citrus deodara. These are the folios lichens. Lichen is a symbiotic association of algal and fungal components. So here you see the greenish color folios lichen. Another important species which belong to family Astraceae. Amir Soil, what's the species name? Myrectus Wallisiae. Myrectus Wallisiae. This is the plant that belongs to family Astraceae. Woody mushrooms. A characteristic mushroom. Here you see the animal dung or the cattle dung where they provide the organic manures for the growth of the mushrooms, for the growth of the fungi. A very characteristic that is the a brownish mushroom, another light brownish mushroom. This is a, another mushroom. We are also exploring the mushroom here that are strongly associated the moist a ground flora. Yeah. It's poisonous, sir. It's a poisonous mushroom. Poisonous mushrooms are very dangerous for eating and they cause sometimes death. These are the toadstools or the poisonous mushroom. So be careful by collecting and eating the poisonous mushrooms. It is the species that belong to family Boraginaceae. What's the species name? Cyanoglossum glacitidium. Okay. This is a very characteristic herbaceous flora that is Androsas hemaliaca, which belongs to family Primulaceae. Kumrat is the valley which is located in Kohindu Kash mountain range where the both dry temperate and the moist temperate join together. So this is the characteristic ecotone where the both ecological habitat join and there is a rich diversity in this ecotone. Here you see the greenish lichen that are associated with the bark of uh, Abyss syndrome and the resins that exuded are come out from the stem of this Abyss syndrome. The resin is characteristic uh, non timber forest product that is used for the number of the medicines for the traditional medicine. Where you see it is the, the bark of the tree trunk is the home for the biodiversity of the lichen. Another important plant that is characteristic reddish flower that is Bistrota implexicale. Bistrota implexicale belongs to family Polygonesi. Where you see where the leaf arises is a characteristic peppery material that is called as Ocria. Ocria is a diagnostic feature of family Polygonesi. This is another important plant that is, uh, you see the hard shaped leaves that is Viola. Canescence, Viola canescence, which belongs to family Violaceae, is one of the important herbal tea that is used for flu, cough, and asthma. This is a Viola canescence. It is the crustose bryophytes. The crustose bryophytes are those bryophytes which are uh, strongly signet to the rocks. So these are the crustose bryophytes. Here you see a beautiful valley of Kumrat. These are a very important species of family poesy grasses. Here you see the characteristics growth rings, annual rings, which present the edge of this tree, the seasonal rings that give us the idea about the edging of the trees. This is called as Dendrochronology. Dendrochronology is the characteristic field of the botany where we study the growth rings or the annual rings that determine the age and also determine the past climatic changes in the history of biodiversity, geography and the vegetation. And this is a Glinopodium ambrosum. Glinopodium ambrosum, which belongs to family Astraceae. And here you see it's a wild strawberry, that is Duchesnia indica, which belongs to family Rusaceae. 
these are the tallest trees that is pinus velishana and abbey spindro this is the prunella vulgaris which is also characteristic plant of family lemiaceae with a purple flower and this is the plantago major which is the plant belong to family plantagenesee and the uh, husk of the fruit is used for the digestive disorders diarrhea that is planta plantago major view to view and you listen and hear a splash of a fresh water that come from the uh, umrat valley here you see the trunk of pinus valishiana is a big trunk that is cut by someone so the major threats towards the biodiversity is the cutting of the trees and the natural disaster that is the flooding so here you see the someone cut this bigger tree nature is beautiful when you close to the nature you become relaxed when you are a naturalist or the biologist or the botanist you explore with your eyes the beautiful lush green vegetation the rivers the ground flora and characteristics uh, splash are uh, chirping of the birds in this beautiful valley